So you may have some templates from various content producers that have commercial rights that have their source files in PowerPoint or Keynote or uh, Word or Pages. And now you're using Affinity Publisher and you're wondering, can I still edit these? And the answer is yes, you can. And it's actually really easy. So I have got uh, just a little mock planner template that I just created in PowerPoint. And let's bring this into Affinity Publisher. So I've only got two pages here. Uh, but the first thing I need to do is just generate a PDF out of this. And so as you will see, anything that you can make into a PDF, you can bring into Affinity and edit it. Now there's several ways to make a PDF in PowerPoint. If you have Adobe, you might see this save as Adobe PDF. You can also go to the print menu and switch your printer to um, Microsoft print to PDF. Um, or you can go to the export button and create a PDF document. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just gonna save it to desktop. Um, I already was playing around with this earlier, so I have a copy of this already, so it's going to ask me to replace it, and yes, I will. And now it's generated my PDF and opened it for me in my reader, but I don't need uh, reader open, so I'm just going to close that. Now let's get rid of PowerPoint and let's move to Affinity. So now all I need to do is go to File. And because I, again, was messing around with this earlier, it's in my recent tab, so I'm just going to go open recent. But otherwise, you would just go to open and then navigate to wherever you saved your PDF. It's going to bring up this dialog box, and I'm going to load all pages. You can also select certain pages to load. Um, I'm going to leave the DPI at 300, and I'm going to leave the color on RGB and just say OK and it's going to load my PDF into the Pages window. So if you are familiar with Affinity Publisher, the pages are the actual pages in your document. Um, if you want to create a template that you can apply to your entire document, that is make repeating pages of the same thing, you really want to have them in master pages. So that's pretty simple to do. All I'm going to do is create a new master and I'm not going to change any of the defaults um, for the purposes of this demo because this really isn't about the pages and master pages window. This is about converting things to affinity. So um, let's go back to pages. I have the move tool on and I am just going to highlight over all of this and then use my keyboard shortcut control C. You can also go to edit copy if you would like. So that copied everything on this page, and now I can go click on the master page. It's now outlined in blue, and I'm going to double click on it to bring that up into my window here. Click on that page, and then Control V to paste, and you can also do Edit Paste if you would like. And so now I have moved that page into a master page document. Um, and so this is handy to work in master pages so that you can make global edits across your document. Again, not going to get too deep into the difference between these two because that's not the focus of this video. So now we can edit anything um, on the page here. So you'll notice all the text boxes are already kind of outlined in blue, but really you can edit anything. So I'm going to click on this text here, go to my frame text tool, and now I can highlight this. I could change the size of the font. I could change the type of font that we're using. And I could change the color, all sorts of things. So I'm just going to control Z a couple times to undo those changes. Um, and then with my move tool on, I can click on any of these boxes. I can adjust their size or shape, and you'll just see me control Z after each of these things just to undo the things I'm showing you. Um, I could also um, add a fill to this box. Let's say I wanted to maybe make a nice pale yellow fill. I could do that. I could change the stroke outline of it. Um, I could change the weight of the line. So clicking on this, I could switch it to uh, being a much thicker line. 
and any of these circles, even though it doesn't look like it's editable, once you click on it, you will get the controls to be able to edit it. The lines, I can change the color, I can change the weight, I can change the length, I can delete them. And so I think you can see that it's if you have anything in a PDF format, you can bring it into Publisher and you will be able to edit it. So that's pretty awesome. It means it opens up a wide world of commercial use templates that you can use within Affinity Publisher. So I hope that is helpful to you.